actually the chiral pool is a collection of abundant inertial pure building block provided by nature and it is used in synthesis the chiral pool are nothing but the amino acids sugars and terpenes and the most important use of chiral pool is for the synthesis of the anti cancer drug this is about the chiral pool today we will start the remaining part of asymmetric synthesis that is chiral auxiliaries first we focus on the chiral auxiliary or detail discussion of chiral auxiliaries the chiral auxiliaries here an enantiomerically pure compound and the enantiomerically pure compound usually derived from the simple natural product like an amino acids called chiral auxiliary and it is attached to the starting material so how will you define the chiral auxiliary the enantiomerically pure compound is called as the chiral auxiliary this is simple definition enantiomerically pure compound is called chiral auxiliary it is attached to the starting material number 2 the diastereoselective reactions is carried out because the enantiomeric purity of the chiral auxiliary gives only one enantiomer of the product that's why the diastereoselective reaction is carried out number 3 the chiral auxiliary is removed by for example hydrolysis that means after completion of the reaction the chiral auxiliary is removed by hydrolysis or leaving the product of the reaction as a single enantiomer and the base chiral auxiliary uh, which the example is mentioned here in the next slides the good chiral auxiliary is that it can be recyclized and there is no wastage of the other by product these are the some characteristics of the chiral auxiliary i have repeated the enantiomerically pure compound is called as chiral auxiliary it is attached to the starting material number 2 diastereoselective reactions is carried out because the enantiomeric purity of chiral auxiliary gives only one enantiomer of the product and the chiral auxiliary is removed by hydrolysis or leaving the reaction product in the as a single enantiomer and the good chiral auxiliary is that which can be easily attached and easily removed and it can be recyclized and there is no wastage of any other product the diastereoselective reaction it is a work just as well as the starting material is racemic or enantiomerically pure and you will get the same diastereomeric outcome in each case that means uh, if you start with the racemic material you will get the racemic product and if you start with the enantiomerically pure material you will get the enantiomerically pure product that means here here the starting material that means it is racemic material paired with the per acids that means meta chloropyrazoic acids we get the epoxide no doubt okay now here the starting material is racemic therefore the product having the proportion 95 as to 5 ratio of a diastereomer and both must be the racemic the product it racemic why because the starting material is racemic in second case here the enantiomerically pure starting material the starting material is enantiomerically pure on treatment with the per acid that is meta per chlorobenzoic acids and we get the 95 as to 5 the ratio of diastereomer here both must be the enantiomerically pure that means here the most important point is that If the if we start with the racemic material, you will get the racemic product. 
and if we start with the enantiomerically pure material we will get the enantiomerically pure product Then the chiral auxiliary controls the Diffelder reaction. The product of uh, Diffelder reaction between the cyclopentadiene and the benzyl acrylate uh, must be the, the formations of both the reagents are achiral. Here I have mentioned here this is the achiral dienophile and this is the chiral diene. Although there is the only one diastereomer that means the endo product is formed and it must be the form as exactly 50 as to 50 50 as to 50 the mixture of enantiomers and there is a nothing to tell the diene whether the attack from top or the bottom face of the dienophile so it is it does both each 50 percent of the time. Now, here Diffelder reactions gives the racemic product. Here, this is simple reactions, okay. And here, the achiral dienophile and this chiral dienophiles. Here, and uh, everyone know the Diffelder reactions. In Diffelder reaction, there is a diene and the dienophiles are involved. And it is 4 plus 2 Diffelder reaction, and this takes place in, in presence of the heating conditions. Here, this is 4 plus 2 cycle addition reaction, and here uh, the attack on top or the bottom face of the dienophile equally likely. Here, mention this is from the bottom face, and this is from the top, top face. That means attack of this dienophile from bottom and from the top face, therefore, we get the product here that means um, but out of this only one diastereomer is in endo and it must be the form as 50 as to 50 the mixture of the two enantiomers that means here in both the case there is endo product that means the proportion 50 as to 50 that means in this way the chiral auxiliary controls the desolder reaction Okay, uh, if we replace the achiral benzyl ester group of the dienophile with amide, de uh, amide derived from the amino acid that is valine, here the synthesis of a such dienophile using the amino acids reduction. Here, this valine it will go the reduction, the acid it will be reduced to the alcohol. Next, here the simple reaction. And there is formations of these um, chiral auxiliaries. Here in first step, the hydroxyl it will be attack this carbonyl departure of first OET. And in second case, this NH2 it will be attack and departure of second OET. And here we get the a chiral auxiliary. In uh, next step, a sodium hydride it will abstract this more acidic proton here. NH sides. Okay. Now then this will be attack on this. And departure of this chlorine and here we get the product here the two faces of this uh, double bond of the dienophile that means this one here uh, are now different because the chiral centers that means these two faces of this this two faces of the double bond of the dienophiles are now different because the chiral centers are the di-stereotopic and the diene can be distinguished between them if we now do the desolder reaction in the presence of the Lewis acids here this is the Lewis acids the aluminium chelates the oxygen here oxygen atoms of the dienophile to form the rigid and reactive structure here shown below. Here this is the green part of the molecule that means this is the a chiral auxiliaries. Here this is a Lewis acids okay and here the, there is a 
chelation complex between the oxygen and the aluminium and here the isopropyl groups is uh, shielded here this is most important case okay? that means this isopropyl groups is held in such a way that that the steric bulk is prevents the dyne attacking that phase of the prochiral alkene therefore uh, the dyne has no choice but attack from above and only one possible diastereomer product is formed here the isopropyl groups are present therefore the attack of cyclopentadiene it must from the top face that means here the bottom face of the dienophile is shielded from the attack okay therefore due to having some steric hindrance therefore attack does not take place from the bottom face it attack from the top face and here we get the only one